everybody. Lucky for you, you just found the best running vlog there is on YouTube. Uh, I've been watching running vlogs for a while. Some of them are just so serious. Uh, people are buying these fancy, fancy gadgets, uh, buying the most expensive shoes. Here I am. I'm just trying to train for a marathon. I'm totally out of shape. So I thought, hey, let's all join on this journey together of trying to get into shape. Um, I'm not trying to beat some ridiculous PR time. All I'm trying to do is run, uh, run a lot, and eat lots of donuts, right? Because I'm going to run, and I'm still going to eat some junk food, too. And I'll show you some of that food I'm eating. Join me on this journey. Today is uh, vlog number one. I'm running a um, 5K at Nakalula Falls. I'm going to be uh, vlogging weekly. Uh, mostly in the Gadsden and Aniston area, but hey, sometimes it might be in Birmingham or Atlanta. Uh, this summer, I'm gonna do a run out in Texas. But hey, for today, uh, just wanted to give a heads up. I'm running at Nakalula Falls. I'm gonna be doing the Black Creek Trail. I always park at the Rescue Squad. So I don't know if you've run this trail before. Most people park at uh, the Nakalula entrance. Uh, this hill, I would rather run uphill uh, to start and then run back down. So uh, most people do it the other way. Um, this hill is absolutely terrible. Such an incline, but hey, uh, I'm gonna do it today and you can join me. It's gonna be awesome. They have these awesome mile markers on the Black Creek Trail. So you can keep track of how far you've gone. It's a really great uh, place to do a training run. I'm actually training for the Birmingham uh, Mercedes Marathon uh, in February. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna get some better equipment soon so it's not as shaky for the weeks to come. But this is absolutely the best place to run. Beautiful place. for a full marathon I struggle to do a 5k right now so February is gonna be here before you know it and I've got to do 26.2 in Birmingham hey if I can do it you can do it challenging anybody watching this video start a couch to 5k program join the Gadsden Runners Club do something but start running uh, the Gadsden half marathon will be in November it's awesome um, Woodstock race is gonna be in Aniston this summer, 5K. I plan on doing that. This hill, I don't know if you can tell, it probably looks flat on video, but Nakalula Falls Black Creek Trail, it's no joke. So, many reasons why I started this YouTube channel. One of them was funny things always happen to me on my adventures. One day I was walking my dog, squirrel fell on my head, there was blood everywhere. Wish I would have had the camera that day. It's a different story, different time. I may have to reenact that for everybody one day on this channel. But, there's a YouTube channel, World According to Briggs. The guy's hilarious. Tells you facts about different states, different cities. But he did a video uh, that inspired me to get exercising again. It was uh, cities in the United States with the lowest life expectancy. So places where you'll die the youngest. Uh, on that list was Gadsden and Aniston. We're both on there. Um, talked about how we're a little bit out of shape. A, a good percentage of people in both cities don't exercise enough um, or at all. Uh, we're a little bit overweight in both of our cities. It's because in my opinion, we have the best food in the world here in Gadsden. Uh, and then also, um, there's a lot of smoking going on around these parts. <laughs> so, 
uh, hopefully it'll inspire all of us to get into a little bit better shape. But also, this guy, World According to Briggs, guess where he's from? Portland, Portland. So, Briggs. Marathon. Whether it be Portland, or whether you come to Gadsden, I'll show you, I'll show you that Gadsden's healthier than Portland. Why don't you come here and run the Gadsden Half Marathon in November? We'll show you that Gadsden's healthier than what your little video shows, because we'll tear you up in a half marathon. Briggs, and you know what? We'll show you some of the best food in the South, too, when you come visit. So, I have a lot I can grumble about right now. I'm tired from running on these hills, knock little falls. Could grumble because my video's a little shaky. Gotta work on that. Gotta get something a little better. Getting some new equipment in. But number two, I can be thankful that I'm not living in Portland, Oregon with Briggs. <laughs> We're running in Portland right now. You have to say, oh no, watch your feet. Don't step in that. People aren't using the toilets, they're using the streets. I heard that about Portland. Is that true, Briggs? Real, honest to goodness, Alabama problem. When I'm done running and taking these walk breaks, do I go get a nice cold water or sweet tea? I'm telling you, sweet tea's calling my name. But this dad bod is saying, you probably need a water. That belly's getting a little big. These chicken legs, I got chicken legs. I don't know if you got chicken legs. My chicken legs are gonna be so tired after this. Thinking about getting a cape, making a cape for whenever I do training runs or I run a 5K, 10K, whatever. It's gonna say, Andy Dashes Alabama. Wear that cape whenever I run. You know what? It'll probably be the least weird thing people see in downtown Gadsden. Nobody will think anything of it. Gadsden's fun. Always something going on. Hey, will you do me a favor? Will you hit the like button on YouTube? Hit the bell to subscribe so you get notifications when I upload a weekly video. Uh, again, I'm gonna be getting some better equipment for these runs. Start doing these weekly. And my cape, when I get it, I'm gonna wear a cape. It's gonna be fantastic. Uh, hey, comment. Let me know where you're running, what trails you like. Let's be a part of this community. Uh, a lot of you are probably like me, trying to get off a belly that you gained in 2020. Uh, maybe, maybe you didn't even gain a belly in 2020. Maybe you just sat around a lot, just get your energy level back, get to hiking, running, getting in shape again. Hey, I might even do some food reviews on here too. I'm getting. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but don't you love the sound? Feet hitting gravel, it's pretty awesome. Hopefully that motivates you to get out here. So there was a, a guy that just passed me. Uh, I'm not gonna say old, but he was much more advanced in age than I was. Let me tell you something, he smoked me. He was, he was speeding by. So uh, age don't matter out here on the Black Creek Trail. It's time for all of us to get into shape. One of the things I learned a while back is no matter how tired you are, don't forget to stretch. Even if you think your day's too busy, you don't have time to stretch, do a quick stretch. My chicken legs will thank me. If I don't stretch, my chicken legs hurt. And that's another thing. I used to feel weird about stretching. I think, oh, there's people around. You know what? It's all good. I'm 42. People are jealous of these chicken legs. Hey, make sure you subscribe. Next week, I'm gonna be doing six miles out of the Chief Ladega Trail. Hey, I don't know if I can do six miles on the Chief Ladega Trail. You can see me pouring down sweat. I'm not gonna do as much stopping and talking. It's gonna be a little bit more serious. Gonna be motivated to run. Hey, and you might even be able to see what I eat afterwards. Woo! -hoo! Hey, and you know, if I run six miles, I know I'm trying to eat a little healthier. It can be a little bad, right? Let me know in the comments.